Okay. Alright, so we're back in the room. Okay, so it is currently 11.20. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, so it's going to be like Groundhog Day. A little bit, I guess. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, now we're going to disobey our rules and now we're going to follow not the correct way to the meeting room the other and Stanley knew it perfectly well perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it ah yes truly a room worth admiring it had really been worth the detour after all just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate beautifully constructed room Stanley simply stood here drinking it all in Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so uttered but eager to get back to business, Oops. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so what's that way? That cuts through to the meter room, what's this done? Okay. No Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm. It's a bit of a long way down. Nope. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Hmm. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her? Okay. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who is she? Okay. It's another heir to the mystery. I hate how those doors close behind you. It's creepy. Is that it? Through the dark door. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Why is it only attached to a plug socket and not actually plugged in? Okay. Hello? Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa. <laughs> what the shit? Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I don't want to. I don't want to. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Oh, that's fucked up. Alright, okay. <clears throat> this is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? I don't want to press that on my keyboard. I don't want to press that on my keyboard. <laughs> I don't want Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Can't seem to jump. Oh. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's <laughs> eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. 
It sounds like a wonderful existence. Got press T. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Fell to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay, so it's 5.30. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Oh, that's a creepy mannequin. Uh, oh, zero, not O. Oh. As he wandered uh. through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Okay, that was weird. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Okay. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. That... But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? What the fuck? Be? In reality, all he's, he's telling into my office. The same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh God, Al. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. No, I don't know, should I press it or not? I don't know. I don't know if I should or if I shouldn't. He's asking me to, but it's telling me to. Uh, I got to do it. You see? <sighs> can he just not hear me? Oh, shit. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that actually in the office he now. remains here? He's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press eight to question nothing. Alright, I'm not pressing it. Not pressing it. I'm just gonna put my hands in my pockets. We're not gonna press it. I'm just gonna wait, see what happens. I got a funny feeling we'll be waiting a while. Oh come on. <laughs> I really wanna press it. I can do it. I'm gonna have to I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Right, is there anything we could do in here? Not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. How do I die? And I tried. Oh. Is that me dead? <sighs> oh. Okay. 11.20. The office is the same. Let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley right. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, we're going to take the right hand door and then we're going to follow it the way it's telling us to go after we do the right hand door. Wait. What? Th that's. Th what? 
Uh, okay. That's weird. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Like fuck I am. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire I it. I do. That's exactly what I, what I want to do. Wow. Yes. And then straight this through. Room. What but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, let's take the left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No, we're going to get out of here. Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about, and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, uh, <laughs> here it's um left. Okay. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. Okay, right. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Of God's sake! What sakes. was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> oh. oh well. let's see. Right. Down, Come right, on. Right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Alright. Okay. So descending into the top. Wait, what? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. No. Okay, okay, okay. Just soak it just, in. We just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? Okay. It's all rubbish Let's have to see spot what the, the fire door looks like. The unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't <laughs> wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. Right. From the top. You have a fire door. Damn it. Oh. Okay, right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It, it's, it's, that's different, isn't it? Well, I just wandered straight through some different stuff. Right, now let's, let's push on. Let's push on and then we'll... I'm getting so confused already. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? Oh, for God's sake. No, I... <laughs> no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely One, two, fresh. Three, four, Everything five, should be. Six. Okay. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Nope. Did you move the story somewhere? Nope. Or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. God, this is a confusing right game. Just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find oh the story. God. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a ticker by its toe. If it squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, let's go left. Yeah, let's go this way. Right. Um. Okay. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. <laughs> just come around in a big circle. Do right. Do need to restart the game again? No, 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 no. You well, don't I need to. It's unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. And, and But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, for God's sakes. Right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. I'm on the way there. Perhaps he had I'm on the way. A memo. Come on. Let's get this done. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? 